I want to show you a very quick video on how to stake a pool. Once you've logged in to your back office, it'll be something like this. You click here and you go to pool options. And if you've already staked pools, it'll show up here. But it doesn't matter, you can always add more time to a pool. It doesn't add an extra pool. So you can't have two memberships in pool one or or two memberships in any of the pools. You can only stake a pool once, but you can add more time to your stake. So you can see that this pool here is going to expire on May the 4th and it's May the 3rd today. So it's a good idea to stake that pool. If you've got no pools staked, you can add as many as you want. Be careful that you only add whatever you want. We're going to add just pool 1. It doesn't really matter if you make a mistake, but check your cart before you finish. For example, if you added this as well by accident, and then you went up here to view the cart, you would see that you've got this entry in here that you don't want. So you can simply remove it. And then you've got your cart as you want. Pool 1 for one month. That's the quantity, is one month. And the price is $2.50. But if you're going to pay by Wisa, it'll give you that discount. So if we go to checkout, you can see that you have the option of paying by PayPal. If you go to PayPal, you don't need to be a member. But PayPal isn't accepted in all countries. You may be in a country that's blocked. Most countries, PayPal is fine with. You don't need to be a member. You can simply pay with a debit card or a credit card. If you're a member of PayPal and you have a balance, you can log in and use your balance. But it's not required to be a member and it's not required to log in. But I want to show you paying with a WISA token. Here you go. The final price is down to $2 because you've got that 20% discount that's been applied. You're happy with that? You click confirm order and it'll ask you if you're sure you want to confirm. And you say yep and it'll tell you your order has been placed successfully and the order ID and it'll give a number there. Now if for some reason you get a zero there, it will mean that that order has not gone through. And the only time that happens is usually when we have a, a browser specific problem. At the date I'm recording this, which is May the 3rd, for some reason a Firefox browser is throwing up that error. It doesn't remove the funds from your account and it doesn't put the order through. Just nothing happens, even though it says it's been placed successfully. But any other browser, as far as we're aware, it's working correctly and we are working on fixing that browser specific error with Firefox. So it's as simple as that. You go back to your pools account info here and you will need to refresh the page. So you refresh the page and you go back to pool options and there you can see that that pool has now been extended to June the 4th and pool 2 to May the 31st. So everything's okay. You can't have an active pool, pool 2, if this had gone past its stake date as it was about to, this pool would also have been suspended because you can't have pool 2 without pool 1. So if pool 1 expires but pool 2 hasn't expired, Pool 2 will simply be suspended until Pool 1 is renewed and you would be treated as a free member. So it's good to make sure you always keep all your pools up to date. God bless.